What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we're including our early access for multiplayer maps of Infinite Warfare DLC 2 Continuum. In this one, we're we'll taking a look at, finally, Scrap, one that is a very fun map and has a few cool little features that I think you guys definitely will enjoy. But, before we get too far into it, a huge shout out and thank you to Activision and Infinity Ward for the hospitality, flying me out to LA, to the studio, to capture this early footage for you guys. It's always an absolute pleasure and honor to be invited out to this kind of stuff, so I truly Really thank them and I thank you guys for the opportunity because without your support none of this would be at all possible so huge shout out to those guys and of course you guys as well and I'm super stoked for DLC 2 hopefully you guys are as well but let's talk a little bit about this fourth and final new map called scrap now firstly it is a ton of fun as with the other maps honestly I truly enjoyed this map pack and I had a ton of fun playing on all of them but this one was actually probably one of the ones that is mid tier for me in this DLC if I were to rank them in sequential order or something Something like that. The map itself is quite massive and therefore kind of detracts away from the high action pace that I love to play. Like, if you've seen the Tourista gameplay or the Excess gameplay up on the channel, you'll know that I'm always in the action with those maps and I love that and therefore pulled off some sick gameplays in terms of kill numbers, but this map is a little bit bigger. There's a little bit of a distance from your spawn point to get back into the action and therefore kind of slows down the pace a little bit, which for somebody like me, once again, that always feels like the need to have to be in the action kind of takes a little bit away from the gameplay experience, but overall it is still a ton of fun. And really, again, as with the other maps that I've mentioned this on, you can play any playstyle that you want here on this. If you're a sniper, you can thrive. If you're an SMG player, there's some spots you can thrive. If you're an assault rifle player, you can definitely thrive. There's a lot of different cool things that you can do within this. And probably one of the coolest features you've already seen maybe in the gameplay trailer a couple of days ago that was released, you can actually jump up onto some magnets overlooking where the flags are in relation to domination. They're still there in every other mode, but that's just like what I equate them to because that's where all the flag positions are in domination. But these cranes, they're magnetized, so then you can jump up and you'll actually be flipped upside down and your feet will go up onto the crane so you're essentially just hanging in midair and can just stay there for as long as you please and can pull off some cool stuff the only weird part with it is of course everything is upside down and disorienting so you're in a situation where you wouldn't really ever expect this in call of duty so it's definitely certainly very cool and of course it's very unexpected you can pull off some really cool stuff i think in one of the gameplay clips i ended up getting a triple kill or something to save b flag and this was simply because nobody expected me to be there i jumped up while the these guys were capturing B and I was able to pick off a triple because they just didn't expect to see somebody hanging right there. The only downside is that you are in the middle of the complete open so there's not really all that much you can do if you get shot other than just have a good responding accuracy and hope that you don't get taken out. But. All in all, it is still a ton of fun to play around up there. I might have a five things you didn't know about this planned for this because there's a lot of cool stuff that I talked about with this map in particular with the developers that I'd love to share with you guys and I think that would be the best forum to do so is something dedicated just towards that. But quickly wrapping up a little bit more here so I can let you guys go with the rest of the gameplay in its entirety. The map itself is a ton of fun, once again, very open, but it still caters to every single playstyle that you can pretty much think of. If you're capturing, say, B flag and domination makes you have some backup because that is something that you'll definitely get flanked from basically all areas there's so many vantage points overlooking it so you're always really gonna want to have your eyes in the back of your head at least to try and help you out there and also if you guys want to try it out for yourselves come Tuesday try and get some dogfights going where you can maybe take out an enemy on one of the magnets as well as you being on one because they can see across the map towards each other but all in all I think this map was a ton of fun to play around with and concluding our four multiplayer maps that we've shown now early it is a ton of fun, and I'm super happy that I've gotten the opportunity to share this all with you guys, and hopefully you guys do enjoy. DLC 2 comes out this Tuesday, two days time from now, at the time of this going live. It'll be available for PlayStation 4 members, PC, and Xbox One a month later, 30 days rather, after the release of the map pack on PS4. But leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think is your favorite part of this map? If you have one at all, maybe you're not a big fan of this map in particular, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comments. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure drop a like down below and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding infinite warfare dlc 2 we got shaolin shuffle zombies gameplay and tutorials going live all tomorrow so stick around here up on the channel if that interests you and also if you guys are interested in modern warfare mastered black ops 3 and cod 2017 content we got you covered here up on the channel as well and finally
finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to share up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you dude, so much for watching. My name is Nikolai Espresso. Take care. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Enemy UAV. 